Welcome to my Wix AI website builder tutorial. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get started right away and you can follow along with me if you like. On the main screen when it comes to sites, we're going to create a new one, so let's click on create new site right here. And of course, since we're using AI, let's click on start chat. So let's get started with your site setup. First, what do you want to call your website? Oops, Marketing Island, enter. What type of business is Marketing Island? Of course, you're not going to be utilizing my stuff. Make sure you fill in your own information, but sometimes I will talk out loud and kind of give you ideas of where you could go with each of these specific steps. So for this, I just put Marketing Island as an online software demo and review business. Could you share some general information about Marketing Island and where it is based? Yeah, since it's mostly like YouTube, I could say, I said it's based in the USA, but is mostly known for the content that it creates on YouTube. And keep in mind that none of these have to be perfectly exact, but you know, it's going to be helpful when you're as close to what your brand or what your website's going to be about. So does Marketing Island have a specific history or values that you'd like to highlight on the website? Yeah, sure. Let's fill that in. So Marketing Island has well over 10 years of experience in the industry. So uh, in terms of your history or your values, even if this isn't for like something marketing or business, let's say it's for fitness. You know, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been helping people? What's your expertise? Any certificates, any great accomplishments, testimonials, results? That's the type of things that you can put in this specific section. So I'm just going to put this and let's click on the enter. Does Marketing Island have any unique selling points that is set apart from competitors? So once again, this is going to be something that you have to think about. Here's what I'm going to put here. So we have in-depth reviews for almost all of the popular software tools, as well as discounts and coupons for our subscribers and enter. So you are all set. Next, let's go to your personalized dashboard where you'll find the tailor-made uh, setup steps to get online faster, the best template and customized text and images generated just for your website. Let's click on go to dashboard. So for this, there are some things that you can do, like connect uh, a custom domain, write your blog post, but I wanna go with design your website because that's gonna be the main part of this, right? So now that we've had AI give some details, let's actually go to it so we can design it. So how would you like to design your website? Given the fact this is mostly about AI, let's let Wix create the site for you so we can do it and get it up and running much quicker. Of course, you can always pick a template, which is good if you wanna do that, but for this, let's click get started right here. All right, so give me a second. I'm gonna add in my logo and then just some information here and then I will get back to you. All right, so I have my logo, I have my fake email address and phone number, and of course my real social media account when it comes to YouTube. This is good. In case you wanted to skip it, you can always do that and come back to it, but I am done here, let's click on next. All right, so pick a theme you like. Given the fact my brand is Marketing Island, I'm gonna go with Fresh here because that seems like the most tropical in terms of all of these. You know, if not that, maybe something like one of these. You can also hover over and see the other colors that come along with it, but I'm gonna go with this one and click Next. All right, so here we are with Pick Your Favorite Homepage Design. You can easily customize your colors, images, and more. So this one I don't care about too much because it has the black in the background. I think this is better with the cleaner look. So we can also scroll down just to see what it's gonna look like. We have some pictures there and some images. And once again, a very similar thing, but let's see which one looks better. Very similar, I think I like this one, a little cleaner. Not a whole lot difference, right? It has like the line on above the menu, but let's go with that one. And of course, when you're doing this, just make sure that you know pick the ones that you like your else. So add pages to your site. These pages are tailored for you. You can customize them later. So we'll put an about, we can put a contact, and why not an as seen in? Even if we don't want these, we can add them and delete them later. So that's not a big deal. Let's click on next. And preparing your homepage design. All right, and so here we are in the editor after using AI to create our Wix website. And the cool thing about this is that it's kind of like what you see is what you get. Whatever you want to add, you're simply going to tap on and then go from there. I like the fact that it's got the logo there. Probably could use one maybe that's more um, horizontal that stretches across, but you could always change that if needed. We have our pages here as well. So you've arrived Marketing Island, your go-to source. Probably have to change that to add a little bit more. Okay, so your go-to source. So we can double click here for software reviews, just like that, okay? So we can also create AI text. If you'll notice that, there's gonna be a section there. So this also say like you arrived, say like welcome to Marketing Island, sounds a little bit better. You go to source for software reviews. So this is a slide deck gallery. So if we wanted to change the images, we can do that now. So in terms of replacing this or changing this, let's just say I'm gonna go to uh, Unsplash real quick, one second. 
So Unsplash is the place that has a lot of royalty-free images. So um, what I can do is like search for island if I wanted to utilize something like that. In fact, I used to use that one a lot. But what you can also do is search for, let's say, like marketing or like tech team. And these are going to be very similar to the pictures that are actually going to be right here. So these actually aren't that bad. It's kind of like a marketing team doing their thing. So if you wanted to change that around in terms of the pictures, that's how you can do it with changing that. Because I know that's going to be a big deal when you have a website and it creates pictures for you. Eventually, you're going to want to use a picture maybe of you or your team or your results or something you've done whatever it's going to be right so about me this would be a great section where we can change image and you know add our own right about me everything double click here this is where we can change around our text and in case you're curious if you ever want to link something all you have to do is highlight it and from there you're going to see we have the link section right here now you can actually go to a certain page if you want but if you want to go to a web address this is where you're going to type it in and once you do that my disclaimer is always don't send your traffic to AOL. They have plenty of traffic. Simply click on done. And upon doing that, you're gonna notice that it's now um, underlined, which means it's a link, okay? So a lot of this is business as usual. We have advertised, we have where you can reach out to, submit, and of course, this was the random email I created at the bottom. Now, another thing that you might wanna know how to do is changing around to the actual site. So, excuse me, the page. So we do have these different pages here. So if we go to pages and menu, we can go to the different ones right here. So when it comes to the about section, we can go on over here, all the info, get in touch. So this is gonna be like about James. And then this is going to be, I'm not gonna write it all, you know, talk about you and your company or your business, whatever it is you do, obviously, right? And so on and so forth. We did talk about some of the other uh, aspects there. So let's go back to the pages. We have contact, we have as seen in. So if you have been seen in something, that's great. You could add some logos here. For example, I'll show you my main website right here. Like for example, if I was gonna be showing off something like that, like AppSumo, Cloudways, Fundera, and MailMunch, I've been either featured, seen, or mentioned in those before. So that'd be an example of something I could use there. So talk about media highlights and like you can link to it if you want. Then again, if you don't have any type of features or that's completely fine, that's why I talked about previously, when it asks you to make the other pages, you don't have to utilize that one. It's really gonna be up to you. But this is pretty much the quick tutorial when it comes to get up and running. What I like about their AI website builder is that one, it utilizes AI, asks you some questions, and then from there gives you an idea of how you can go about creating your website and does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. I understand that like a lot of people maybe use specifically, if you have a hard time when it comes to just creating a website from scratch, it does that hard part part initially for you where once everything is set here, just kind of worry about changing around the headline, what you're gonna add here. Once again, we're changing around our pictures. Obviously this, when it comes to about me, this can be like a big feature, or like what makes you great in terms of what you do, maybe some results and testimonials. So there's not a whole lot to edit. Once you understand what you need to edit, I think it's gonna make your life a lot easier. But in a nutshell, that's gonna be the Wix AI website builder tutorial. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will be doing many more Wix tutorials, so I just didn't want to make this one too long just to get you up and running so you can get started and remove that annoying part of having nothing and starting from square one, staring at a blank screen, because that's the most annoying part. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.